Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to talk about quiver tips and swing tips. So first of all what are they for? Well they're for ledger fishing and picking up sensitivity, picking up bites. So the quiver tip quivers and the swing tip swings. So why would you use a quiver tip and why would you use a swing tip? So first of all, um, the swing tip is a much older kind of uh, technique which has died out now, which practically nobody does anymore. I always used this method when I was a kid. So both of these methods, um, these tips you can screw to the end eye of your rod. So there's a rod at the end, uh, an eye at the end of the rod here, and they screw in to that. So if your rod doesn't come with one of these, you can actually buy these and cut the end of your rod and add one of these on. But um, or you could just buy a rod that has one of these, but they don't tend to make them that often anymore with the eye on the end of the tip. You could just see it there. And these screw on, like so. So um, you can buy a ledger rod with a built-in tip or a push-in tip. So this is a screw-in quiver tip and a screw-in swing tip. So I think, first of all, just to mention why I think that the swing tip kind of died out is because I think um, number one when carbon rods came in to the market um, they had very sensitive tips and some of them tended to be made with built-in quiver tips or um, it's kind of like a standardized form of, of tip the quiver tip was sort of born and the swing tip kind of died out so you can imagine an old fiberglass or heavy rigid rod um, would benefit from a screwing swing tip whereas um, a match carbon rod very fine end it's not so so much needed so it kind of died out but what are the differences between these two tips so first of all um, the swing tip it has a swing action so it's attached to the end of the rod and then it drops and when you get a bite, the, the front will lift. So you'll get bite indications with practically no resistance at all. And that is good if you're fishing on waters that are natural or full of very timid fish with very shy bites. But you also get the drop back bite as well. And again, with no resistance in both directions. So it's excellent for that. And that would make it in my opinion better for a running type of rig with no resistance so if you have a, a running rig where the um, the weight is free from the line and the line is running through it there's no resistance on the weight and there's no resistance on the tip here so much better for drop back and normal bites with a running rig as opposed to a quiver tip so we have a constant resistance here So with the quiver tip, that's a little bit different. So it quivers, um, there is some resistance when a fish bites, albeit very, it's very sensitive and it's very fine resistance, but you can imagine um, a fish bites this, the drop back bite will just sort of be a snap back, so you won't get so much of an indication, if you know what I mean. And when the fish bites, there is some resistance. So this can be good if you set up um, a kind of bolt rig so if you have a bolt rig and then you just increase the tension when you draw the line in and then you let the the rig rest when the fish picks up the rig and the weight that resistance will be lifted and that will force this tension in the tip to sort of spring back and kind of hook the fish so that can be useful as well so um nice uh illuminated tip here for you to be able to see the end 
with the swing tip this also has one i've had this for years i used to use this in the 90s and um, i don't use them that much anymore but i don't really know why I haven't got a good enough answer apart from most of the fishing i do now is at commercial fisheries and that's another reason i think why people don't use these anymore because in commercial fisheries you you don't tend to get sensitive bites you kind of put your rod out and in, in a lot of cases you don't really need um quiver tips either you know you you tend to get quite harsh bites they're well stocked you're not fishing on sort of natural lakes i used to fish on a reservoir that was natural it wasn't stocked and it was difficult to catch so any resistance or big hooks or thick line it was very difficult to catch the fish whereas these days people use heavier lines heavier hooks and um, there's a lot more carp in the lakes you can also imagine a quiver tip being more effective in a strong flow say a strong flowing river it would have the kind of resistance to keep in a a more consistent position whereas the swing tip might just bob around and you won't get many good indications with that so um that is about it this one has a kind of spring on it this uh, swing tip um you can get ones with sort of silicon on it doesn't really matter as long as they drop but you can still buy these online i've had a look um, if you want to pick one of these up and you can still buy the eyes with the thread in the end for your rod mine is just um, I think a 10 foot match rod with a screwing end so I can use it with a quiver tip as well um, and that is about it really I just wanted to have a little talk about the two types of tips if you have any interesting stories about say in your childhood or times when you used to use a swing tip because I know a lot of people don't use them anymore please um, let us all know in the comments section below and if you have any opinions on which one is better, um, also please let us know in the comments section below. And that is about it for this video. So if you like the video, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more fishing related content. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.